What's going on guys? Will from Royal Canadian Reptiles. Welcome back. This week we're going to take a look at some of the stuff from 2017 that has put a little bit of size on, you know, is around that eight, nine hundred, a thousand gram mark. Uh, a lot of these girls are eating really, really well for us. And sometimes you just don't really get to see these animals as they grow. Lots of people just post baby pictures. So we're going to take a look at some stuff that's around that eight, nine hundred gram mark and that we're really excited to use next season. Let's check it out. All right, guys, let's start off with some pied stuff. Who doesn't love pieds? So what you see in front of you here is a 2017 leopard yellow belly pied. And the nice thing about this girl is she is 66% het desert ghost. So can you guys imagine a leopard yellow belly desert ghost pied? Oh my God. I really hope we hit that. And she is growing really, really well. I love the, the speckling and everything in her. Just a really, really different combo. The the leopard really brings stuff to the table in this in this combo. See her sides. Just incredible, incredible looking animal. All right, let's check out something else. All right, guys. So here we have a desert ghost pied female. She is just a fantastic looking pied. Love the black outlining in the saddles. Really, the desert ghost really, really lightens up this. Uh, this pied color to her and I can only imagine what the DG pied stuff is going to do with with like you know some other codom jeans in there like I just showed that leopard yellow belly I can't even imagine what a yellow belly leopard pied's going to look yellow belly leopard DG pied's going to look like or you know orange dream chocolate uh, mahogany I mean the, the list goes on and on I look at this project as all of these combos are going to be better than the standard pied. So the their respective pied combos. So a yellow belly pied is gonna look better with Desert Ghost in it. So I just look at this entire project as a new a new way to go. It's just a I can just take every single pied combo that I really really like and I can mix it into the Desert Ghost stuff and it's I think it's all gonna look better. I hope this camera's picking this up. This is just insanely like goldy it's a, like an amber gold color. It's really, really nice. All right, let's take a look at a couple more girls. All right, we're gonna switch gears a little bit here. Here we've got a Super Phantom, 100% Het Lavender Albino. I think this is gonna be a pretty neat project. I've been, I've been trying to make a Super Phantom Lavender now for like six or seven years, and I've had the worst luck Ever. I've made phantom lavenders, phantom spider lavenders, super phantom hat lavenders, but I haven't been able to hit them together. Uh, this year, hopefully I hit them together. If not next year, I mean, I don't see how I can't. Uh, it's one of those projects I'm just not going to give up on. I really, really like them and uh, I am not giving up. I'm going to make one, but I think this is going to mix really well with blackhead, with Enchi. I think the, uh, you know, there's ton, a ton of potential with this, uh, this specific combo. It, I mean, everything you get is going to be phantom and you mix it with like, let's say a blackhead Enchi lavender male or a blackhead leopard lavender male, and you're going to make some really, really nice stuff. So oh, super phantom, 100% het lavender albino. Here's what I think is pretty neat. This is a double het. So this is a butter vanilla spider double het hypo clown. Uh, I really am not chasing the hypo clown stuff, but I, I mean, maybe I will. I After looking at her, she's just really, really gorgeous animal. Uh, I was really just hoping to mix the vanilla into the clown. The And I just, I just happened to have vanilla hypo. So I was trying to mix the vanilla into the clown and these ended up being double hats. So... I'm not going to the first year. I'm not going to be shooting for the the double visual, but uh, that's that's definitely a possibility down the road. I just think this is a really really good looking animal, just a quality quality looking snake. All right, next one. All right, sticking with that theme. 
Here's a Orange Dream Yellow Belly Butter Spider. 100% Heck Clown. Really, really pretty. Just a really soft orangey yellow color. And then nice white sides. Just a really, really pretty animal. I'm going to mix this in... I mean, I, I would prefer this animal without the spider, obviously. But she doesn't seem to have any wobble, any issues at all. And it's a... Uh, you know, it is what it is. Nice white belly. So, Orange Dream Yellow Belly Butter Spider. 100% Heck Clown. Hopefully this girl will breed for me next season. A lot of these girls are in that eight, nine thousand gram range. Hopefully the camera picks up that nice yellow, yellowy orange tinge to her. Really, really pretty animal. All right. So here we've got an orange dream yellow belly, 100% head puzzle. So this girl's really, really bright. And obviously with the hep puzzle, extremely valuable to me. I, uh, this tail end is just crazy, crazy nice. So we're going to be trying to make some... Uh, I'm going to be breeding her, I think, to a... Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't say. Nah, I'll tell you. I think I'm going to breed it to a firefly puzzle. As I'd really like to make like an orange dream yellow belly fire puzzle. I think that's going to be a really, really good combo. And then, you know... You know how I love my Desert Ghost stuff. Start to mix it into the Desert Ghost. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. You got so many long, long-term projects on the go here that... But when they do start to come to... You start to come full circle, the stuff that's going to be made is incredible. I am really, really excited to see what the next couple of years brings. Orange Dream Yellow Belly, 100% Hep Puzzle. Not sure I've shown this guy off on camera. He's going into a bit of a shed. Actually, quite a bit of a shed. He's got that pink belly. This is a male I picked up. This is a 2018 male. But I picked this up from Justin Kubelka this year. And when I saw this snake, I it was just one of those snakes that I kept going back to. I just kept going back and looking at it and going, Oh my God, this thing is unreal. And I just had to pull the trigger. So this is an Orange Dream Yellow Belly Fire Spot Nose Clown. And this is a male. There's just the amount of, you know, stuff going on with it is just unreal. All these sides are crazy. I'm sure you saw Justin, everybody saw Justin's video of these guys when they were hatchlings. And he, I know clowns brown out and he has dulled a little bit, but it's, it's still fantastic. He's one of those snakes that just, I cannot wait to see what this guy can re can produce. I got some really cool projects in mind for him, so... Again, long-term stuff, but it all pays off in the end. Orange Dream, Yellow Belly, Fire, Spot Nose, Clown. Here's a cool one. So this is a Red Stripe Mojave Fire. Really, really like the Red Stripe stuff. I mean, uh, he, I know Justin's done some really cool, like the Magma stuff, but I don't, I'm not just like the Red Stripe in Clown. I think it's going to do some really cool stuff in other projects as well naturally i'm going to try and mix this into puzzle um it almost has that like ghi mojave look like this stripe is really really bright um but yeah i mean i think the red stripe has a ton of potential and not just in clown i think you know what it, who knows what it'll do in in puzzle who knows what it'll do in lavender who knows what it'll do in desert ghost i'd love to see all those combos so we're going to mix this into some puzzle stuff and, and see what we can get. All right. Now, this is a project animal of mine. It popped up in a... I'm not even going to tell you the pairing, to be honest. I want to, I, want to, I want to play with this a little bit longer before I release what's in it. But I will say there is no confusion, no trick, no yellow belly. I have no idea why this thing looks like this. I have no idea. The only thing this thing should look like is a pastel vanilla. Those are two things that are in there. And there's obviously something else at play. But really, really cool. This is a female I hatched in 2017. It just sort of popped up and we're holding on to it. Look at the belly on it. And there's no yellow belly in this. 
no confusion, no, I, I, I don't know what's going on. But we hope to have some answers next year. Well, this year, actually, I hatched a male version of this as well. So we're going to be breeding that this year, and uh, hopefully I have some more answers. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, be sure to follow, subscribe, share the video, hit that notification bell. Next week, we're going to unveil two really, really cool clutches of snakes. So you do not want to miss it. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you next week.